What's good, fellas? Welcome back to another episode of our Sluggo Dynasty here on the channel. When it comes to doing storyline for these uh, for these videos, a lot of people's comments don't get seen because there's like 150 of like massive storyline and stuff like that. A lot of people contact me and say, you know, I left this idea and had this many likes or something and you know, there was no mention of it and stuff. If you have like an idea or you want something implemented or you want to propose something to me, I always leave my Snapchat and Twitter over on this side of the screen for a reason, fellas. I talk to a lot of subs on Snapchat when they have ideas and stuff like that. So. If you have something that you want me to see, like guaranteed want me to see, make sure you add me on those and I'll definitely be able to talk to you about it then. Anyway, there is a lot of stuff going down in recruiting as we reach the end of our year. As you can see, Alex Tootens, we are now in the lead for this guy. Robbie Davis also in the lead and JT Hall. I had a little bit of a look into it, man. And Robbie Davis and JT Hall are some seriously solid players and this is how I find a lot of the players later in the year is just going to lock flipping it to the lowest percentage that is locked and normally you can find a lot of these players Alex Tootens is the 116th ranked player in this entire class and we are leading for him now go down a little bit further JT Hall is the sixth ranked player in this entire class and we now have the lead for him and then last but not least Robbie Davis is the 30th ranked player in the entire class we have the chance to insta your bitch all three of these players in this episode and it's pretty obvious that it's going to be pretty huge whether we get any one of these three players we just took the lead for JT Hall just took the lead for Robbie Davis and just took the lead for Alex Tutens all in the same weeks come on crow can you finesse? Can you finesse? Oh, we didn't insta commit him, man. Now, these two are the ones that are highest ranked, man. So, I definitely want to get these two. Yes! The 30th ranked player in the class, Robbie Davis, is now officially a sluggo. Got some pretty good speed, pretty good acceleration, pretty good play rec end zone as well. Good release. He's got 80 trucking. Interesting. Good spin, good juke. Decent spin and juke. So it looks like he's more than likely going to be a wide receiver, which kind of sucks. You know, maybe we can put him in on the defensive end of things. But last but not least, can we finish it off with the sixth best player in the class? Oh, shit! We jumped up 685 last week, so obviously nobody knows that JT Hall is a beast even though he's ranked 6. You know what I mean? Only us and UAB have offered him scholarships as well, which is crazy. Oklahoma and Stanford both have 300 plus bonuses. We have 185 and uh, I'm sorry UAB, but you're definitely not getting in with that 5 plus. Same thing for Alex Tootens, it's between us and Penn State it looks like. We jumped up 630 last week and now I have a pretty solid lead. The bonus points each week is actually pretty close. Now as for Corey Robinson, UCLA even though they beat our ass last week, obviously has 700 points invested into getting Corey Robinson because despite our best efforts, we still dropped 25 last week and this guy is getting pursued so much bro. There are so many top quality schools that want to try and get Corey Robinson so as long as he can stick around to the end of the year, we might just be able to get him. Marty Coley, we got the lead for him. Jim Monroe, nothing's changed. And then we get down to John Thompson now. We just blasted onto the scene, man. We were pretty much going to be the first guy. And then as soon as USC saw that we were interested in John Thompson, they're like, you know what? We just want to screw around Banana Crow and the boys. As for everybody else, they're pretty garbage, to be honest. We did manage to sign Lamar Butler in the previous week. He is a 76 overall tackle. So you already know that our O-line is going to be beastly compared to last year. As for this though, everybody's pretty trash. I mean, is there at least a 70 I can work on? Eric Watkins, I guess. Can we get a uh, scouting check on this man? He's a 74. He's got some good acceleration though. John Daniels has a lot more speed, a uh, lot more agility. I'm actually going to put the rest of the points on a John Daniels, as I would prefer to have a cornerback opposed to another outside linebacker. So it hasn't registered yet that we just insta committed a 5 star recruit But so far we jumped up one spot from 11th to 10th We have of course the signing of Lamar Butler But I'm pretty keen to see next week when it registers that we just signed a 5 star athlete Hopefully we can jump up like to 8th or something like that Because not a lot of schools have a 5 star athlete Everybody but like 6 or 7 schools has 5 star athletes man Miami has 4 bro God, slow down 
I'm liking our class so far. The fact that we are in the top 10 in the nation as a two-star school shows that we are making some power plays out there. Get a quick check on the uh, Heisman watch. Yeah, I don't think that we're going to be able to make a run for this. Eh? Everybody looks pretty solidified. You got Christian McCaffrey is more than likely going to win it. Conference standings. Oh, I'm dreading looking at this. So in the Pac-12 South, USC, even though we beat their ass, took the lead over us. If we drop down to 3-3, three and three, then I can only imagine in the overall Pac-12. We went from third to six, mate. Stanford, Washington, and USC all took a lead on us. Now, we do get to finish out the season easily, but we have three more really tough games, including Washington State, Arizona State, who are behind us at ninth, and then Washington, who is now third. And after that, we get to take on, you know, Idaho or Utah, whatever the hell it is. We should win those games. Now, there was one storyline this week that had over 100 likes, my dude. This comment, man, nearly had more likes than the entire video did. When Banana Crow was in college, he met a woman named Letitia Jefferson. They hit it off straight away and it wasn't long before she was on his slug. I like that, keeping it PG. Crow panicked when he heard the news and told Letitia he wasn't gonna stay with her, but he'd support her through the pregnancy. When she gave birth to two healthy boys, there was a shock. With Banana Crow being white and Letitia being a pock, I don't know what a pock is, by the way, if that's racist, I'm sorry, but I really don't know what a pock is, eh? I've never heard of it. No one expected the twins to be the same. They were known as the Miracle Twins, one black and one white. Letitia decided she should keep little Xavier and Crow take baby Joe. Unable to deal with the pain of the memories of Letitia when he saw Joe, Crow put him up on adoption and he was adopted by the McIntyres. Now imagine Crow's surprise when he becomes a coach and his two little slugs were on the team. He calls Letitia and they have an emotional family reunion after the latest game. Wow, really, really good, my dude. I mean, I haven't looked at it properly. I just know that it was by far the most liked comment. Thank you to so many people over Snapchat and in the comment section who decided to write a huge paragraph. I saw multiple of them, but of course, as you know, there can only be one. But that still doesn't mean that you guys definitely put in the work to write those for me. So I really, really do genuinely appreciate that, my dude. Shouts out to you, man. You know who you guys are. Heard the Turd was upset that he missed a game, so he asked McIntyre to make him his number one target. So move Heard the Turd to the number one receiver for a game. That's a really good one, man, because Heard the Turd didn't get to play last week. He went to go help his cousin Colt Cruz, if you remember. So this week he's going to be number one receiver, which I think is more than fair. That being said, if you guys are hyped, don't forget to smack a like on the video, man. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe because we do content like this every single day. And that being said, let's get it. We are first in the nation in rush D. <laughs> How? How? We suck at the run. This is a lot harder than I thought, man. This is one of the easier games we have on the season, but it doesn't make it less hard. <laughs> Can we get an interception or something? Can we flip this game, please? Flip the momentum, PLZ. It's going to be a run. You know it. Woo! Let's go, Yancey. They're going to run it again. Who is that on the backside? 23, is that Yancey or Kirby though? Shouts out to you, my dude. All right, so they get the kick. We get to come out here and try and make some big plays, man. Let's get it. Let's go, Sims. Woo! Woo! Step back. Ah! Oh, Sims! Go, son! Let's go! Bro! I ain't never seen him explode like that. About time, man. We always get four or five tackles broken on us. About time we got one ourselves, you know? Only makes it fair. Heard the turd be swapping with Duggo. Duggo is gonna come up. Actually, Duggo can stay in the slot. He's got a lot of speed behind him. Let's go. Let's go, Jefferson. Oh, shit! He just ran through his ass. I need an action replay of that. Oh, there was like no like, animation. He just got fucking smashed. That's what I don't get about this game, man. Sometimes our team just plays unbelievably well. Other times, oh, somebody's got to get open, man. Let's go. All right, let's hit him up with a read option, and this should be GG right here, fellas. Do you reckon I should take Douglas? Nah. Damn it! Uh, even though I don't even know what play we're running, sure. Let's go, Anthony Williams, a true freshman, getting the reception for a touchdown erection. <laughs> that, I t just trying to spit some bars, man. Fuck me. 
Back to the run game, I see. Oh, shit. Oh, you straight up dropped it. <laughs> These teams don't know, man. They think they got an easy game on the schedule when they see the slugs. Little do they know. Little do they know! Ah! Oh, wow. Where is... Good play, man. Good play. They dotting us up big time through the air. I might have to jump on Yancey. Uh oh. Oh, 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 damn it! <laughs> Yancey, though, my favorite player on the squad. Make a play, Yancey. Come on, they're gonna run it. There we go. Yes! Here. Man, Sims is so slow, bro. Would these guys run man coverage? Uh-oh. All I wanted to do was hit my boy Heard the turd on that play. Nearly ended up being a pick six. That shit would have been tragic. Ah, Yancey! <laughs> Another run. There we go. Let's go. They run it? Really? On third down? At least in this game, the chance of getting a block field goal is low. Ah, he got it. Okay. What's going on in the studio? Washington State is now number one in the country. We have them next week, I think. Next week or the week after. Number one ranked Washington State. God damn. Come on, boys. Come on. Cut it out here. Give me some blocks. Ah! That's my bad. I accidentally simulated an extra play. That's all me, bro. That's completely my fault. All right. Now we're down. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, let's go, Sims. All right, we got to start balling out, man. We have to score on this drive. How, bro? And now this just means that Joe McIntyre is having a terrible game, man. I think he's only completed, like, one pass. The entire game. Here we go. Ooh, I see you. He's showing the NFL he's ready. Man, their defenders are so fast, man. Even our speed receivers can't even get open. Woohoohoo! Nick Douglas! We just got bailed out, man. So bad. All right, we're going to run to the side with the two stars, apparently. Oh, I got stuck! Ooh, he took a big hit, man. He took a big hit. We're going to change the tempo to conservative. And then... We're going to be cocky little bastards. Go into the, uh, where is it? Where is it? I can't see a goal line. Here we go. Quarterback sneak. Last time we tried this, it picked up like seven yards, mate. We just have to get into the end zone. Go, 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 go! All right, all right, all right, all right. We got this. Time out. Oh, shit. Look at this, mate. We're switching this up for sure. Heard the turd, mate. You're the number one receiver this week. What made it worse, right, is that he turned around and was like, oh shit, oh shit, that's a touchdown. And you dropped it and then faced the wrong way. Oh, 
Oh, man! This game is so fucking cheese, bro. Just slugging it over again. Oh my god! Oh, Anthony, please! No! We just get so close, but are so far at the same time. Like, glitch stars play again. Let's go. Walters, step back. Woo! Yeah, I, I'm not even that upset when Jefferson goes, TBH. Walters knows how to step up. But. Oh. This is massive, bro. We need to start this drive out with something big, you know? Where did you come from? <laughs> I'm going to go crazy playing this game, bro. You know they're going to run it. That's all ASU does is run the damn ball, man. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. You guys seriously trying to waste time? You guys are pieces of shit, man. Get there! Come on! And either way, this is not a good situation for us, man. Because they, if they slot this kick over, then we're stuffed, man. We have to get a, a two-point conversion, man. Screenplay! Yes! Let's go, curb stomper! And they're actually going to go for it on fourth down. Why are they going to go for it on fourth down? I have no idea, man. But please, can we just get this stop, please? This is massive. Way to get smashed. Man, we still have a little bit of time left. We just have to score though, you know? We just have to get into the end zone. There we go, wide open. Oh, he dove. Great catch, bro, but please try and stand on your feet if you can. Anthony Williams has been beasting out. Wish I could say the same about the rest of the team, but still. Let's go, Mac, just run, bro. Joe, time is running out, mate. What are you doing? Woo, Jefferson, though. Can I just get in the end zone, please? Like, no bullshit this time. Their goal line D is, like, unparalleled. Like, you're not getting past their goal line D, mate. There's just, that's impossible. It's impossible. Are you joking, bro? We are going to flip this out to the left. There we go. That's a touchdown. There is no way, man. They are that fast. But get in the end zone. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we had a quarterback spy and he actually got there. 56, you god. You're a god, mate. Oh, you just got leveled, man. But, let's go, Sims. Now, do we start two clocking? Because the thing is, we've only gotten in the end zone twice out of, like, five attempts. This is that glitch play. I'd rather not do this. Thank you. Woo! Okay, we got herd going deep. There we go. Dot. This game is going to give me a heart attack, bro. Simmons! Oh, yes! All right, now we definitely have to put two clock on. We do have a read option here. Going to hit up the read option and just see what Big Hungry Joe can do. That's actually good. That's good. I want to kill as much time as possible. Going to manually kill down the clock. Leave them with as little time as humanly possible, man. But, let's go, Joe! Show him why you're the Heisman, man! I mean, he's not even being considered, but still, bro, he should be. We have to go for two. Okay, fair enough. Fair call. I'm actually going to put Jefferson on a wheel route. I don't know if they're going to be able to pick up on that. Heard the turd. He dropped it, bro. You're our best receiver. In the clutch, mate. Straight up dropped that shit. 
He's gonna run it again! Bruh, this man is crazy! Oh no, is that field goal range? They're trying to run down the clock, man. They're calling an audible now? Okay. He dropped it! He dropped it! Killed all that time for nothing, mate. We have to get the stop right now, man. Right now, bro. He had to throw it away. Oh my. Are they going to go for this? The way they've gone about this last drive has been fucking retarded, dude. You've got three timeouts. Ten seconds left. They're going to run it. Oh, good job, man. Okay, they're going to call timeout. I don't know if they're in field goal range, man. That's a big field goal. Oh, man. My heart, bro. My heart. It hurts. No way. I swear, if he caught that, I was about to legit walk away. They're going for it. Oh, my. Okay, this is it. They're not going for the field goal. They can't make the field goal. They're going for it, boys. Preston Davis, the best linebacker we have. I'm jumping on his ass. Let's go. Come on. Test me, bitch. Test me, bitch. Yes! Take that! Ah! Slug strong, mate. Slugs out in the comment section. Flop your slugs out. Go show your parents. Just flop it out and just say, slugs won, as we do. Joe McIntyre, three total touchdowns, 268 yards, seven carries for 25 yards. All right, mate, checking out the stats on the day. Joe McIntyre, 153.3 passer rating, 13 out of 24 completions. Turned his game around. He was doing shit at the beginning. 268 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Shouts out to you, my dude. On the rushing end of things, did not utilize it at all, but Joe McIntyre had two rushing touchdowns on the day. Ever since we got Joe, Jefferson has completely faded away. And that's only because in the last recruiting class, we got so many speed athletes. And then Jefferson is just slow, bro, you know? On the receiving end of things, Xavier Jefferson with 34 yards and Anthony Williams with 91 yards and a touchdown he did of that drop, though. Nick Douglas, 79 yards. I mean, everybody did their thing out there, though. Everybody did their thing out there. On the defensive end of things, Wyatt Sims. This guy had a big game, man. Six solo tackles. He also had that massive return at the beginning. Preston Davis for five tackles, three TFLs, and a sack. How many TFLs did we have in that game, though? Three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven TFLs and four sacks on the day. We got no interceptions, though. That being said, fellas, if you did enjoy, don't forget to smack a like on the video. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you back next time, man. Much love. Peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. Cause I don't fucking care. I don't know where you've been You're slurring all your words Not making any sense